Hello students, welcome back to the seventh video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number seven from the most recent Pure Mathematics 1 paper, that is October 2024, P1 paper. So let's have a look on question number seven, how the, uh, what's the question number seven from this paper is about. So basically, uh, the concepts behind question number seven, it's from uh, trigonometric ratios that has been uh, discussed in chapter number seven. Chapter number is not seven, basically chapter number six of your Pure Mathematics 1 textbook. So we need to have, besides that, we need to have idea about graphs and transformations since we need, we will be, we will be dealing with transformed trigonometric graphs here. So uh, we need to have idea about both chapter five, chapter four, that is graphs and transformations because we need to deal with transformation here and also trigonometric graphs that is discussed in chapter number six of your pure mathematics one textbook. So let's get started with question number seven. So right at the beginning, you can see a figure, figure number three, which is showing, figure number three shows a plot of part of the curve C1 with equation Y equals to negative four cos X. So figure three shows the curve C1 with equation Y equals to, ne y equals to negative four cos X. Fine. Where X is measured in radians. Fine. So points P and Q lie on the curve and are shown in figure three. Where is point P and Q? Okay, this is point P, which is a minimum point, and point Q is lying on the X axis. <coughs> okay, fine. So part A1 is asking to state the coordinates of what? P. Okay, so let's have a look on the figure three. We need to state the coordinates of point what p okay so on the x axis let's have a look this is what zero radian right and then what this is negative pi over two radian isn't it and then this maximum point is at what uh negative pi radian right and then this point is what negative three pi over to radian and at point p this is what negative 2 pi radian so we got the x coordinate very easily isn't it so the x coordinate of point p is negative 2 pi radian done now the y coordinate so since you can see that this curve c1 it's basically uh, a stretched curve of cos x right and it is also reflected on the x axis that means the maximum point the maximum value in the graph of cos x is what one so it's one is now multiplied by negative four to become the minimum point on the curve c1 which is the y coordinate is negative what four that means for part a one the x coordinate of point P is negative 2 pi radian and its y coordinate is what? Negative 4. That's it. Okay, next is part A2 where they are asking to state the coordinates of point what? Q. Okay, same as in part A, what we have done, we will do also for part 2. This is zero radian. This is what? Pi over two radian, right? And then what? It would be what? Pi radian. And so point Q is what? Three pi over two radian. Fine. So we got the X coordinate. Now Y coordinate is what? Point Q is lying on the X axis. That means at point Q, the Y coordinate would be what? Zero. So three pi over two radian. And the Y coordinate is what? zero that's it that's all about part a done okay next is 
part B. Okay. So for part B, they are saying the curve C2, another curve C2 has equation y equals to negative 4 cos x plus k, where x is measured in radians and k is a constant. Okay. Given that C2 has a maximum y value of 11. Curve C2 has a maximum y value of what? 11. So part B1 is asking to state the value of k. So we need to state the value of what? k. Okay. Since the maximum y value of curve C2 is 11, so maximum y value will be when? Maximum y, y value will happen when the value of cos x is negative 1. Because negative 1, negative 4 multiplies to give positive 4 so 4 plus k what it's what maximum value right so we will consider that fact so for part b1 what we will write uh, negative 4 times negative 1 plus k it is equals to what 11 isn't it so the value for k is what 11 this is 4 11 minus 4 is what seven that's the value for what k done that's what part b1 has asked for okay next is part b2 where they are asking to state the coordinates of the minimum point on c2 with the smallest positive x coordinate fine so minimum point on c2 when will be the minimum point occur the maximum point occur when the value of cos x is negative 1 so that means the minimum value will occur when the value of cos x is positive 1 right because if it is positive 1 so coefficient is negative so negative 4 times 1 it will be negative 4 which makes it what smallest which make is which makes it minimum okay so that means the smallest the minimum value of c2 it depends on the value of cos theta isn't it so we will consider what cos x equals to what one because when the value of cos x is one we are getting the minimum point on curve c2 okay so for part two we will consider what cos x equals to what one so if cos x equals to 1, then what would be the x? Cos inverse 1 is what? Cos 0 degrees 1, but they wanted the smallest positive x code x value. So cos 0 degree is 1, 90 is 0, 180 is what? Negative 1, 270 is what? Again 0, 360 is what? 1, right? Cos 0 radian is 1, pi over 2 radian is what? 0. Uh, pi radian is what negative 1 so 3 pi over 2 is what 0 and again what 2 pi radian is what 1 so that means the smallest positive x value is 2 pi radian okay and they wanted the coordinate right so we got the x coordinate now remaining is what y coordinate so y coordinate would be what negative 4 times 1 which is negative 4 negative 4 plus 7 which is what only 3 so y coordinate is what y equals to what we got uh, negative 4 plus 7 that gives us what 3 so minimum point is what minimum point on the curve c2 has x coordinates 2 pi and y coordinate just 3 that's it and that's what part b2 has asked for okay next is part c so in part c they are saying on the opposite page there is a copy of uh, of figure 3 labeled diagram 1 okay on the, yeah we can see this is diagram 1 okay so what happened there using diagram 1 state the number of solutions of the equation negative 4 cos x negative 4 cos x equals to 5 minus 10 over pi x okay negative 4 cos x 
so the diagram one in the diagram one this is the equation of this is the sketch of curve c1 with equation y equals to negative 4 cos x okay now on the right hand side the equation it's given it's basically a straight line equation with gradient what negative 10 over pi x that means it has a negative gradient since it has negative gradient so it will be a decreasing line right and its y intercept would be if you put x equals to 0 there the y intercept is what 5 for the line okay so if we sketch the line here what you will get uh, it passes through it it starts from 5 and it, it goes like this it has a negative gradient right so since it has negative gradient we need to identify whether it passes through point Q because it's really confusing like you will get confused whether it passes through like this or that or how it mo how it moves like isn't it so if we get the x coordinate like where x intercept where the line is intersecting the x axis that would help us to identify isn't it so let's figure out that let's figure out where it is intersecting the x axis so we will put y equals to 0 so you will get 5 minus 10 over pi x equals to 0 so x would be what take 10 over pi x to the right side okay so it will be 10 over pi x and then x would be 5 pi over 10 that means half of what pi right it will be what half of pi it will intersect the x axis at half of pi that is pi over 2 so since it intersects at pi over 2 it will move it will be like that that's it so how many points at how many points it is intersecting the curve c1 only one point so how many points of how many solutions would be only one solution right so as part the question part as part the question c there will be one point of there will be one point of intersection therefore one solution okay one since the curve c1 meets the line what meets the line y equals to what 5 minus 10 over pi x at only how many point one point that's it that's what exactly part c of question number seven has asked for